Hey guys, I wanted to talk about lifted trucks where they put larger tires on the truck and the effect that does to the speedometer and the odometer. So if you have a nice lifted Jeep like this, this is it beforehand, this is it after, before and after. So it's a really cool looking vehicle. So let's compare the two different wheels. The original wheel has a 32 inch diameter and this new wheel has a 37 inch diameter. The circumference is equal to two pi r or pi times d. So since the diameter is 32 for the one on the left, that's 32 times pi or 100.53 inches. And the circumference for the larger one is going to be 37 pi or approximately 116.24 inches. Let's talk about the speedometer error. So the ratio of the speedometer to the actual speed is equal to the original circumference over the new circumference. The reason for that is because the speedometer is based on the number of tire rotations and that's based on your original tire size. But the actual speed is going to be based on the tires that are currently on the car. So if we plug in the 32 pi for the original circumference and the 37 pi for the new circumference, these two pi's can cancel each other out. So we just have a 32 over 37. So this is the ratio of the speedometer to the actual speed. Let's say we're going 70 miles per hour on the freeway. What would the speedometer be telling us? So we'll set up this proportion and we'll plug in 70 for the speedometer and we'll plug in X for the actual speed. Let's look at the proportion just as the numbers and we'll cross multiply. We're going to do 37 times 70, which is 2590 and then 32 times X, which is 32 X. If we divide both sides by 32, we get X equals 80.9. That's about 81 miles per hour. So if you're in this Jeep and and your speedometer says 70 miles per hour, you're actually going 81 miles per hour. And we can put a box around that. Next, let's look at the odometer error. And let's assume that you changed these tires when the car was brand new. If your odometer says 87,000 miles, what's your actual mileage? Well, the ratio of odometer over actual mileage is gonna be equal to the same original circumference over the new circumference. Because the odometer is based on the original tire size of the car, whereas the actual mileage is gonna be based on the tires that are on the car. Oh, well, this is gonna be that 32 pi over 37 pi, or in other words, 32 over 37. So if we put 87,000 miles for the odometer mileage and then X for the actual mileage, we can do another one of these proportions and then we'll solve this by cross multiplying. 37 times 87,000 is 3,219,000 and then 32 times X is 32X. We divide both sides by 32, we get X equals 100,593.75. So if your odometer reads 87,000 miles on this Jeep, your actual mileage would be 100.5,000 miles. And we could put a box around that. I wonder how many people who raise their trucks are aware of this difference that they might be driving on the freeway and they get a ticket from a cop and they argue it but it actually is because they never updated their speedometer to tell the correct speed how exciting